For some business stories, the federal government has pledged to create agricultural hubs across the country through the Special Agro-Industrial Processing Zones Program and Value Chain Development Program. This is contained in a communique issued at the end of Nigeria's high-level event at the UN Food System Summit in Rome, Italy. Speaking at the summit, Vice President Senator Shatim, Kashim Shatima said the federal government uh, will continue to advance the mobilization of innovative financing to address key challenges to food systems priorities. He said that this was in line with the Nigerian food systems transformation pathways. In his remarks, President of IFAD, Mr. Alvaro Lario, said, to stimulate private investments, there is need to, uh, for government and development agencies to lead the way with their own investments. President of Islamic Development Bank and President of the African Development Bank reiterated their commitment to supporting Nigeria in achieving its development aspirations. A latest report from the Central Bank of Nigeria reveals that the Apex Bank has been pegged or has pegged the amount of dollars to be transacted on the Pan-African Payments and Settlement System at $200,000 per quarter by authorized dealer banks and for a customer. This was disclosed in a press release signed by the Director of Trade and Exchange of the CBN. These transactions will be settled using CBN Foreign Exchange, adding that PAPS transactions remain trade-backed. According to the Apex Bank, multiple applications through different ADBs are not allowed. This is to revolutionize uh, the settlement of cross-border transactions across Africa, leveraging on a vast network of subsidies and subsidiaries and representative offices of ADB across many economic